Welcome to my e-course. In this e-course, we are going to build a full stack web application using Node.js, Express.js, MongoDB and Polymer 2.0. This will be a quick and dirty hands-on session. So what we will learn? We will learn Express to create get and post services. We will use Node.js to create our server-side app. We will use body parser to read data which is posted from our web browser. Then we will use Notemon to reload our server automatically. We will use MongoDB to store and retrieve data. And lastly, we are going to use Polymer 2.0 to add dynamic content to our HTML file and create a nice component. And the architecture. At the database side, we will have MongoDB. At the backend, we will have Node.js and Express. And then in the front end, we will have HTML, CSS, and Polymer 2.0. We will use REST APIs to access the server side services. How will it work? We will create a basic index.html file with a form to send the data to our server. In our server, we will have POST and GET methods. Then we will connect to the DB. We will write data to the DB and we will retrieve data from the DB. So what's the DB? It's MongoDB. We will create a new database and use it to store data. This will be in the cloud. We will use MLabs, okay? Some quick information before we start. Const declaration. So the const keyword is an alternative to var. The normal variable. Const declares local variables with block scope rather than function scope. Require function. Node.js follows the common JS module system and the built-in require function is the easiest way to include modules that exist in separate files. The basic functionality of require is that it reads a JavaScript file, executes the file and then proceeds to return the export objects. Body parser. Parse incoming request bodies in the middleware before your handlers. The data is available under the request body property. Uh, Express framework. Express.js is a modular web framework for Node.js. It is used for easier creation of web applications and services. And the official MongoDB driver for Node.js provides a high-level API on top of MongoDB core that is meant for end users. And prerequisites, you should have an IDE. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Be my guest, download it and you can also use it. You have to install Node.js. And lastly, you should install NPM. If you have problems with that, please comment below. I will help you. Are you ready? Quick and dirty. Let's start.